Wait, before you hate me, there is a very good reason of why you got Rick rolled. Spoiler alert, if you want to get rich quick, you can skip this video, it's only for serious traders. Hello everyone, welcome back to your smart money source. Yes, this is a clickbait because there is no holy grail, there are no shortcuts in trading and I want to save you from making a costly mistake. It is impending to leave this thought behind, this doesn't mean you won't make it, on the contrary, if you delete the idea of holy grail and getting rich quickly, your mindset will automatically switch to a profitable way of thinking. Think about it, 95% of people lose money in Forex. So wouldn't it be a smart idea if we identify why this happens and try to avoid doing the same? Maybe you might get profitable, right? Well, stay until the end and hear what I've got to say. People who lose money in Forex don't have a profitable strategy. They will jump to live trading following a random retail system or strategy and lose all their money over and over again. Don't trade like everyone does, trade like the minority does. That's why I created this channel in the first place, to show that anyone can achieve profitability without needing to believe in unicorns. Let's say you have a profitable strategy now. Why would you still lose money? Simple answer, psychology. Yes, that boring stuff that no one wants to hear about is what makes the difference and the logic is very simple. We as humans are taking all kinds of decisions during the day and most, if not all of them, come from the nature of necessity driven by emotions. If you are hungry, you eat. If your knee hurts, you go to the doctor. If you are bored, you play a video game. The problem for us traders is that we cannot trade based on necessities or emotions. There is too much in game and every mistake you make will cost you a lot of time and money, which will generate bad feelings and end up in a spiral of poor decision making and bigger losses. We all know these feelings are fear and greed. So how to manage this? We have some tools to prevent us from making bad decisions in trading. First, we need confidence on what we're doing. If we are not confident enough in our strategy, then guess what? You will start moving a stop loss or taking profits too early. So how can we fix this? One word, backtesting. When you backtest long enough, you know for a fact if your strategy is profitable or not. And if it is, then you have certainty that you can execute your trades like a robot and make money. You won't even think of moving the stop loss or the take profit because you already know that even if you get stopped, you will still be profitable on the long run. All of this sounds great, but the problem is that we are obviously not robots and even knowing that you are profitable, you could still fail and here is when risk management comes to help. Thanks to backtesting, you will also know how many stop losses in a row your strategy might have depending on your win ratio. Using this information, you can adjust your risk management with a few simple rules that will diminish the maximum drawdown and help you not lose your mind. A good way to do this is by scaling down the risk every time you lose a trade and then scaling back up once you make back the original equity by winning trades. As an example, let's say we take our first trade risking only 1% and we get stopped out. Then the next trade, instead of risking 1%, we will risk 0.5%. And if we lose again, on the third trade, we will risk only 0.25%. We will stick to this risk until we make back the equity we had when we risk 0.5%. After reaching that level, we can start risking 0.5% again and the same for when we make back the original capital and we start risking 1% again. This will only diminish the drawdown and smoothen the equity curve, but also, and more importantly, it will help your psychology as it would take way too many trades to have a 5% drawdown compared to always risking 1%. The priority of making bad decisions under this risk management is very small. All in all, don't believe in unicorns. This is a career. You have to take it seriously and don't take shortcuts. Find a profitable strategy like the one I use, which is smart money. Have an exceptional risk management. And once you do all of this, enjoy the financial and time freedom. If you like the video, please Subscribe, like it and see you in the next one.